Hello guys, I'm Daniel Dungo from JMO School Work Academy and um, quick story, when I started shoemaking um, I had to learn almost everything on my own because yeah, I'm, I'm a self-taught shoemaker and of course I know you might be like, ah that's great, that's great news because you're probably also learning on your own and I am proof that it's possible for you to do that on your own. However, that's not the best way to learn shoemaking because things I ordinarily would have learned easily, it took me a while to learn and it was a tough process because I didn't have the type of guidance that I wanted. Okay, I learned watching videos and to, to all sorts of tutorials online. Okay, but the challenge is it doesn't always give me the details that I wanted in shoemaking. Now, I am trying to, we, the Footwear Academy that we started, we are trying to provide um, the type of platform that you can get all of the information you need, okay, over a period of time, okay, and this is the first of its kind where having a series of videos that will show you quite a number of things about shoemaking. And you can always ask us questions, you can always interact with us, let us know what your challenges are. And with every video, every week, we will deal on the particular challenges that you guys have. We will develop the particular curriculum that we hope to go, that we, we hope to delve into strictly. Okay, so if you're passionate about learning shoemaking, then you should also know that we're passionate about teaching you. Okay, so shall we begin? Okay, um, our first lesson is going to be on pattern design. Okay, because pattern design, in my opinion, is one of the most fundamental skills you need to develop as a shoemaker. Okay, so you see something like this and like and you're like, oh, this is nice. I want to walk, I would want to produce something like this. Okay, and you now start wondering, how did you get this measurement? How did you get that measurement? Where do I start from? Okay, now that is precisely what I intend to guide you on in this lesson. Now to start your pattern design, there is a major tool you need and that is the shoe last. Okay, almost everything is built around the shoe last when you're designing a shoe, except if it is a slippers or sandals. Okay, then you can, there are several other ways to approach it, but if it's a shoe, a covered shoe, okay, a shoe last, the shoe last is where you start from. Okay, so I'll want to guide you on the shoes, the shoe last standards. You know when you're designing your shoe, what allowances do you need to give? What measurements do you need to work on on the last? Okay, because when you understand that, you would now notice that when you sketch your pattern, it gets to balance very properly on the last. All right, now there are different ways of designing your pattern. There's a last taping method, there's the slotted form method, Okay, these are the two most common ways of designing your pattern. However, that is not what we're talking about now. I want to guide you through the men's shoe standards. Okay, the women's shoe standards are not so different from the men's shoe standards. When you understand the men's shoe standards, you can just transfer the knowledge with very little variations. Okay, so if you're ready, I will go to the next step. We'll go to the board and I'll show you the measurements you ought to observe when you are sketching, when you are designing your pattern. All right. Okay. So let's go to the board. Okay. So guys, we're starting with the men's shoe standards. Okay. And like I said, this what we're using this to basically explain to you um, what measurements you should observe when you are designing your shoe. Okay, now basically what we did here is to just get the form of this last on the board, okay, to explain 
the measurements we need to observe properly. Okay, now I have written this thing, this the the alphabets down here to guide you. Okay, now our C. This is our C. C is counterpoint. All right. Now on your shoe, this is your C. So your C is supposed to show you how high should this part of your shoe be. All right. Your Q is top of quarter. This is the top of quarter. All right. Now this part of the shoe is called the quarter. All right. So this part is the top of the quarter. This S is the seat. Okay. We didn't write it here because it's not so relevant but the s is the seat is the bottom part of your last down here okay b is so okay sorry i'm i'm getting a bit of ahead of myself the v is your vamp point okay your vamp point is somewhere around here okay um that is something i would explain a bit better in our next class but on your shoe on this particular one this area is the vamp area of the shoe Okay, now the one point is important for several reasons, but it helps you understand how wide this part of the shoe should be. All right, so I don't want to confuse you, we'll not go into details about that. Okay, now your T is top of facing. T here, top of facing. That your T is here. And take note this part of your shoe is called the facing. This part of your shoe is called the facing. So T, this point, is called top of facing. All right? And then B here, B here is breast of shoe. Breast of shoe. It's usually the allowance we give for the heel. All right? The breast of shoe. And an easy way to understand it, some last manufacturers get to put metal here. Okay, there's a reason for the metal, but this is not the point where I explain that. We'll explain that in our subsequent class. All right, now, this is the breast of your shoe, breast of your heel. So this is the heel area and this is the breast of it. Are we together? Now, A, A here is outside of ankle bone, outside of ankle bone. Now, you know your ankle bone is somewhere around here. And your A is here. You notice that your A is at direct 90 degrees, at a direct 90 degrees angle, mm -hmm. sorry, angle with your breasts, with the breast of your shoe. So if this is the breast of your shoe, it means your A is somewhere here. Are we together? Are we together, guys? All right, so let, let's proceed. Now, all of these things are the things you need to observe when you're designing your pattern. Okay, if you want the upper of your shoe to look like this, or even better, these are the things you need to observe. Now, there are some measurements. How do I know, how do I get the standard measurements from the bottom of my last to this point? What is, how do I get the standard measurement from down here to up here? Now, the measurement for your SC is 1 over 5 of your standard last length. 1 divided by 5 of your standard last length. So, we'll use this last to help explain that concept. Alright? Now, this is how you get your standard last length. You put your tape here. That is at the middle line behind um, your last and you take it down here to the feather edge of your last feather edge all right now what we have here is approximately 31 centimeters all right so our standard last length which is represented by sl is equals to 31 centimeters it means our sc from here to here is 31 divided by 5. We just need one portion of this 31. If you calculate it, you would find out that is equal to 31 divided by 5. Alright? 
Now that will give us what? That will give us, if you if you check it, it will give us 6.2. Alright? Now the next thing we need here is to cut is to how how do we how do we get our CQ? CQ from here. That is, let me show you on the last. Our CQ is from this point to here. Alright? And our CQ, there isn't so much calculation here. It's just half of an inch all right so you measure half of an inch and you get this now one quick tip if you measure if, when you pick your last and you just measure half of an inch from the tip of yeah, from uh, the top of your cutter if you just measure half of an inch it gives you your your counterpoint that is one easy way to go about it. If you just measure half of an inch from here, it tells you where the counterpoint of your shoe should be. All right? Now, the next thing we're calculating is CV from here to here. All right? From here to here. How do we get our bump point? All right? Now, according to Tonton, okay, which is um, the... Uh, the right who, who is the writer I got this diagram from according to Tonton ton, ton, you just need to, to get 7 over 10 of your standard last length okay so our standard last length is 31 alright so basically you just say 7 over 10 times 7 sorry give me a minute give me a second rather 7 divided by 10 times 31 and it's 21 centimeters so our CV CV is equal to 21 centimeters if you look at it you'll notice that this is like the longest this is uh, this this is a very long measurement on the last okay and it's 21 centimeters the next thing we need to get here is our VT. Now, let me explain so that I, I, I let me explain to you this so that you understand it properly. Our CV from here to here is what we have from here to here. Okay, from here to here, that is from here to here is what we have from here to here. And for the last we are using is 21 centimeters. Do you follow? All right. Now, the next thing we are measuring is VT from here to here. When you are designing your pattern, okay, what measurement should you give from here to here? That is exactly what our VT is about. All right. And to get from this place to this place, you just need to calculate a quarter of, a, of your standard last length plus a quarter of an inch. All right. So your standard last length divided by four, thirty-one divided by four, is um, seven point two five. All right. Plus a quarter of an inch. A quarter of an inch. An inch is roughly two point five centimeters. So a quarter of an inch would um, typically be 0 0.75 centimeters. All right, so you just add, what did we get? Um, one over four, this is where we are, right? So 7.5 centimeters plus 0 0.5 centimeters, that's roughly eight point something centimeters, okay? So approximately, let's just say that is for this for this last, okay, is approximately eight point two five centimeters. Let me write it again. Our okay, sorry, that's our VT. Our VT, our VT is approximately eight point two five centimeters all right now a lot of shoemakers will just estimate 
that your VT is, is usually between three centi three inches. A lot of shoemakers will estimate that your VT is between three inches to nine centimeters. All right, because most of the measurements for men's uh, shoe last gets to land within that frame within that space okay so i hope now you understand how to calculate this place you just get a quarter of the standard last length plus a quarter of an inch please take note that this is not the exact measurement i just put this as an approximate value for you to work with all right now your sb from here to here now this is a part a lot of people get to have issues with how do you measure your heel okay sb is basically your heel area and sb as we've seen here is a quarter of your standard last length all right and we've already established that the quarter of our standard last length is um 30 31 divided, 31 divided by 4. 31 divided by 4. 7.75. Alright? So, 7.75 here. I hope you can see it on the camera. This is what we have. 7.75. Alright? Can you see? This is very accurate. 7.75. All right, the metal here shows us the exact measurement of our heel. All right, so our SB for the last we are using is 7.75 7 centimeters. All right, then our SBA is 90 degrees. SBA is 90 degrees. So since you've already gotten these measurements, you know where this place is. SBA is something like this from here to here and then the line here okay our a is on okay let me show you on the on um, this upper that we've lasted our sba is here to here and then to this point now if you've got an sb you just need to get 90 degrees of it a right angle of it that goes straight up okay to the top line of your shoe and you've gotten your SBA. So SBA is very simple and straightforward and it's 90 degrees. Now your BA, all right? Your BA, that is from here to here, all right? As we've seen, it's one over five of our standard last length. And we've gotten one over five, one over five of our standard last length to be, 6.2 centimeters all right and this is base these are these are basically the measurements you need to observe when you're designing your upper okay i understand that this could be a bit tough for um, some of us to digest especially if you you're not on an advanced level in shoemaking but in our subsequent classes we would explain to you and in the subsequent videos also we would explain to you how to go about your pattern design and how to observe all of those measurements okay so if you have questions you would want to ask just go to the comment sections and ask your questions Meanwhile, we would be glad if you subscribe to the YouTube page and you also share the videos with your friends, those of your friends that are also interested in shoemaking. Okay? So, we're available to respond to your questions. Thank you so much for following.